There are some iconic shooter games and series out there, and the third-person shooter franchise called Gears of War is for sure one of them. I'm therefore looking into the latest Gears of War game, which is Gears of War 5, that was released back in September 2019, just months before the COVID pandemic started across the globe. With that said, let's play some Gears of War 5 in order to see if it's a game that is worth playing and still worth playing in 2024, about 5 years after release. When I was recording this video, I downloaded and played Gears of War 5 using the Xbox Game Pass and I'm playing on PC. Before we get into the talk regarding Gears of War 5 specifically, I wanted to give a short kind of background when it comes to the series. The first Gears of War game was released already back in 2006 followed by Gears of War 2 that was released in 2008. Now this is the time and era in gaming history, you might say, that was called the golden era of gaming due to so many classic and good games that was released during this period of time. Gears of War 1 and 2 is definitely those kind of games. So Gears of War 3 was released in 2011 and Gears of War 4 was released in 2016. So four games in the series was released in a period of 10 years, followed by Gears of War 5 that I'm playing today. And as it seems, fans of the series can now also look forward to a new upcoming Gears of War game, meaning Gears of War 6. That Gears of War 6 game will reportedly be announced on the 9th of June and this will be confirmed at an Xbox showcase reportedly scheduled for that day. The games mentioned in the series has been nominated and also won several awards throughout the years. Although it's been different developers behind the scene, at least some, the first three games, meaning Gears of War 1 to Gears of War 3, was mainly developed by Epic Games, but also in collaboration when it comes to the first game, together with the Coalition, People Can Fly and Splash Damage. Splash Damage is, by the way, the studio that made shooters such as Brink and Dirty Bomb, the later one, meaning Dirty Bomb, is a free-to-play FPS game that I've played quite some and also covered here on my channel once in a while. But Gears of War 4 and 5 has solely been developed by the Coalition. Gears of War 5 that we're looking into and playing today was released on Xbox One, Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X and of course PC, and it's published by Xbox Game Studios. I'm playing recording this video on PC, however I choose to play the game for some reason using KBAM, which felt a bit strange since I'm pretty sure that I've been using controller before when playing a Gears of War game on PC also, since I believe that it plays better or is designed with controllers in mind. So if you feel like trying out a Gears of War game, maybe this game, Gears of War 5, then I do recommend you to play with a controller. It's hard to find any other third-person shooter that feels and plays like a Gears of War game when it comes to the movement in combination with the gunplay or how the gunplay is designed. This is something I experienced the hard way, you might say, coming back now into this game since I haven't played Gears of War since it was released, meaning Gears of War 5, back in 2019. It sure takes some practice and skill before you can get it right or get the timing right when it comes to moving in and out of cover, sprinting, dodging and shooting in a game such as Gears of War 5, but when you do get it right, it can be quite satisfying. Gears of War 5 has quite a lot to offer when it comes to content, like previous games. I played the story mode, meaning the campaign in co-op mode together with a friend when the game was released, and I had quite some fun. There's of course opinions in what direction they should or could have taken the storyline in the newer Gears of War games when you look into how the campaigns in the older games plays or played and also ended. But I did enjoy my journey in Gears of War 5 following the story of Kate Diaz who is on a journey to find out the origin of the Locust Horde which is the main antagonist faction of the Gears of War series. Let me know what you thought or you think of the campaign uh, regarding Gears of War 5 in the comments. The game also supports three-player local split-screen or online cooperative gameplay. Now, split-screen is a feature that seems to be almost forgotten or lost when it comes to newer games, which I believe is a pity. In Gears of War 5, one quite popular game mode called Horde made its return in which five players must work together to fight against 50 waves of enemies and a boss will appear every 10 waves. It can become quite crazy towards the end, especially if you choose to play on a higher difficulty. And they also introduced a new three-player game mode in the game called Escape. 
Now, when it comes to the multiplayer aspect of the game, I was struggling a bit since it was hard to find matches. I often got into matches where I had around 140 ping, which of course affects your performance to a certain extent. However, I was able to play both some TDM, King of the Hill and Escalation. There's also a new multiplayer game mode called Arcade, and some guys has described Arcade as a hero shooter light mode designed for a new player or a more casual audience. And that's good and smart as well, I think, since the Gears of War PvP can be quite competitive from time to time. And this is also something that I wished was more common when it comes to newer games, meaning an introduction when it comes to the multiplayer and game modes, but where you play against a few real players and also some AI. Especially games with a somewhat steep learning curve can definitely benefit from that, making it easier for newcomers to adapt and also learn the game. I talked about the matchmaking and of course you can use filters here when it comes to also ping settings for that sake, but as mentioned, the time I was recording the gameplay, there wasn't that many online playing Gears War 5, so I was forced to take what I could get. With that said, when I take a look at the player count on Steam to get a hint regarding how many people that are online playing Gears of War 5, there's been around 270 players on average playing the last 30 days, maybe some more people on consoles. Gears of War 5 supports cross-platform play across Xbox consoles and Windows devices for the following game modes, Campaign, Co-op and Versus and Horde. When it comes to the multiplayer, there has been sayings and criticism that not much have been changed or added since Gears of War 3, which might have been the peak of the franchise overall. Some players believe that the multiplayer hasn't evolved well since the entire multiplayer experience is still about lancers, gnashers, long shots, boom shots and torque bows. Let me know what you think about this as well. I guess this depends on the background you have as a gamer or a player when it comes to the Gears of War series. I mean, if you're new into this, everything is new, so it doesn't really matter. You can't really relate to the older games and the weapon arsenal back then. But even though you might have been playing the game or series for quite some time, the same same might be good enough for you if you really like the game or and the gameplay. And me coming back now, not being a frequent player and not having been able to play Gears of War overall for a long time, it feels quite refreshing because overall it is a solid game, especially compared to some of the newer games that has been released. I kind of go back and refer to that. Sure, it's not the best Gears of War game, it isn't, but does it mean that it's not worth playing? Now, I would say it's definitely still worth playing. As said, there's quite some content to look forward to, especially if you're new into the game or on the series overall. If you're focusing on multiplayer, maybe you will be disappointed, at least as explained, it might be hard to find games and find games in your region where you live. That has to be mentioned and I've talked about it, but even so, you can do that. And also, of course, if you're playing with friends, definitely the Horde game mode, the other game was mentioned, maybe play the uh, co-op campaign as I did, that was fun. So it might be worth it for sure. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game and of course also when it comes to the news regarding a new game being in the making. With that said friends, thanks a lot for watching and of course if you enjoyed please give a like on the video, it helps me out here on YouTube and I will talk to you soon again. Bye, later.